Alan here with a story from The Storyteller, a book by Dennis Dallas, one of my old instructors. Today's story, Where is Beauty? There was once a young girl who lived in an island village. All of the people in the village considered her to be very plain and homely. Because of this, they treated her as such. Consequently, after a period of time, her shoulders sagged and her head was always downcast. Whenever she was around people, she was very quiet and never smiled. One day, when she was out in the lagoon by herself, she was enjoying herself playing in the water, swimming and diving. A neighboring prince from the island not far from the one she lived on happened to come upon the lagoon. Because of this, he saw her in her natural and unfettered state. When he saw how beautiful she was in the surroundings of the lagoon, he immediately fell in love with her. As the days passed, he visited with her father. He visited with his father. After a period of time, arrangements were made and they became married and the prince paid many more goats, pigs, and coconuts than was ever expected for this young lady to receive as a dowry. So enamored with her was the prince that he felt he had to give a dowry that reflected his feelings. After the marriage took place, the prince took the young lady back to his island. She was received as a queen and as a beautiful woman. This is how the prince had described her to his family and to his friends. Because they all treated her as such, she walked upright. She smiled. She looked people straight in the eye and her personality was allowed to come out. Many people were overjoyed to hear the thoughts and feelings she had. During her quiet years on the other island, she had thought deeply about many things. After several years, she heard that her father was dying back on her home island. When she returned, she looked in no way like the girl who had left. She was announced as the queen from the other island. People looked upon her from her home island and marveled at her beauty and her composure, at the grace with which she walked and the manner in which she treated other people. The villagers of her home island were amazed that such a transformation had taken place and all considered her quite beautiful. How could they ever have mistaken her for the homely, uninteresting, and plain person they thought she was. You know, when we think about this story, and it's extremely important for those of you with children or who work with kids, we start to take on that which is around us, you know, our thoughts and our feelings. So if we're bombarded with negativity, we can start to appear negative. When we're bombarded with positivity, compliments, encouragement, then we're allowed to then grow and into that more bountiful, um, confident, beautiful person that we can become. Uh, so it's so important the way we treat our kids, whether they're our own children or those that maybe we're teaching in another environment to help them with that positive mind, that positive inner feeling, because that will manifest in their physical appearances as well.